is it possible to see you personally uh, in an appointment so that I, you can help me with my personal growth or relationship with God? Well, it's always possible to see me personally. Um, of course, many people see me personally on a day-to-day -day basis and we get to share about their particular issues and, and problems that they face and, and their relationship with God quite frequently. So we get to talk quite frequently. But if you're talking about actually making an appointment to see me, I don't take appointments to see me. And I also generally don't see people individually. There are a number of reasons why I don't do this. Firstly, reason number one is I do not want people to become emotionally dependent upon me. They need to become emotionally dependent upon God and their relationship with God through a process. And the process is the process that I'm defining, which is this process of becoming at one with God through receiving divine love, practicing humility and living in truth. That's the process that people need to follow. The problem when people come to see me on a personal basis is they forget their relationship with God and often many times they come to rely on me to provide answers to them that I'm capable of providing, but, but it's not in their best interest. The reason why it's not in their best interest is because most of the time they need to have more personal effort in finding out the answers themselves through this process with God that they need to engage. So nowadays I resist quite strongly a person having an appointment with me to discuss personal issues with me unless I feel that there will be a large majority of people that will benefit through that particular interaction. Now the only way in which a large majority of people could benefit through the interaction is for the person to be willing to disclose on camera and on audio the actual issue and problems that they particularly face and what kind of um, you know, response that I give to them also is then placed in the public domain. That's how it's going to benefit lots and lots of people. If a person is willing to do that then I will consider having an appointment with them because obviously uh, an appointment is necessary because we need to set up the cameras and the videos and the, and the recording equipment in order for that to occur. But also because um, you know, I like to arrange my time so that I have time available for myself and for other pursuits. Secondly though, I find that many people who request or, of me an interview or an appointment have huge amounts of demands coming at me that I solve their issue or that I tell them what they want to hear or that uh, you know, they have, want to have, use it as a forum to have my agreement or they want to use me in a, in a fight they have with somebody else. They want to use me as an arbiter between the two or more people. And, and under all of those circumstances, if I notice that occurring generally, I'll, I'll, I will not arrange an appointment under any circumstances with those people. The reason why I will not is because I do not want to be involved in people's personal uh, emotional addictions uh, getting fulfilled. I, want to, I don't want to support people's emotional addictions, I want to confront them. And if confronting them means not in, ha having any time with me, then that's what I will do. So I find that many people believe also that they can donate some funds to me and then demand my time. And you know, under those circumstances I give back the donations. As Mary knows, there has been many occasions where I've given back even large significant donations to people because I felt there were strings attached and there were demands coming from the individual that I do something for them in return for what they've given me. And I believe that I want to give my time as a gift to people. I also believe that I have a choice of who I want to give it to and I will make that choice based upon a number of different factors, all of which I believe are quite pure in their motivation, but that's up to the individual who's interacting with me to determine. In terms of my day-to-day activities, I prefer to not make appointments because this doesn't allow flows, flow to happen. But also, I do not appreciate people just dropping in on me uh, at unannounced times um, because I feel that is something that is also then not honouring how I might be using my time in other, in other ways. I usually make an appointment to go and see another person. So if I, if I want to go and see another person, I'll always phone them first or I'll always email them first or I'll always let them know, I'd like to see you next week, can we make, make a time? I never re or very rarely drop in a per on a person unannounced. And, and the reason why I do this is because I love people 
and I don't want to interrupt their life without them knowing that I'm going to or leaving them with the choice that, uh, that they have to reject my visit. Um, I feel many people do not give myself or Mary that opportunity and often they, dis and we've had many people want to obtain an, an interview, a personal interview or a personal um, interaction with us. When we have said no to them, they've then dropped in on us anyway. And this is a very unloving behaviour, I believe, and I tell the person such a thing, generally. So, generally, I do not give personal interviews anymore with people or personal help to people unless there is some purpose to it or unless it inter it's interacting with my life personally in some manner or unless, and, and if the person wants that particular feedback or has told me they want that particular feedback. If a person tells me they want feedback, then I'll give them feedback in any forum possible, public or private, it doesn't worry me. But as soon as a person tells me they do not want any feedback or they treat me in a manner that shows or demonstrates that they do not want any feedback, then I will no longer give them any feedback either. So that's the way in which I generally interact with people.